Budget Blinds. Visit their showroom or call today for a free in-home consultation. The Lloydminster Learning Council Association held a proclamation signing with Mayor Rob Saunders before yesterday's council meeting. The city, the public library and the association are challenging residents in Lloydminster and surrounding areas to increase the amount they read. We proclaimed uh, January 27th as uh, Family Literacy Day. And so on that particular day, uh, the organizations that promote literacy uh, have uh, asked uh, everyone to uh, read for 15 minutes and uh, submit their uh, reading uh, to the library. A goal they feel will bring a positive impact for children, families and all who wish to be involved. Bring awareness and uh, raise the profile of literacy and uh, create uh, families that uh, are reading with their children and uh, just for lifelong learning. Now you don't need a library card to participate and the group or family with the most amount of reported 15 minute intervals will win the challenge. Well, Canada has the highest rate of multiple sclerosis in the world, affecting people from Alberta and Saskatchewan most prevalently. Well, every day, three people are diagnosed with MS in Canada. Back for the 18th year, the Lloydminster MS Society is gearing up for one of their biggest fundraisers. The annual MS Walk takes place on Saturday, April 30th at Lakeland College Gym in Bud Miller Park, with all funds raised going back into the local chapter. ...to fuel vital programs and services that we offer throughout the year, uh, such as different um, recreational programs as well as self-help programs and uh, transportation services. Registration is open for those wanting to participate in the event or help with sponsorship. You can do that online at mswalks.ca, in person or over the phone at 780-871-0513. Uh, either register a team or just as an individual or whatever you'd like. Obviously, the more dollars the better, but uh, in the economy that we're facing right now, um, it's, it's a little bit tough, but I, I believe that we can uh, come out on top this year. Flickel says although this is her first year with the society, uh, past walks have been very well attended and is confident in another successful campaign. Well, we have two new animals to showcase for you in this week's pet project. Tallahassee is a two-year-old lab retriever cross and Beluga is a three-year-old domestic short-haired cat. Here's John from ESPCA. bundle of energy is Tallahassee, a two-year-old Labrador Retriever cross. Tallahassee is one happy-go-lucky fellow who just adores people. It is the little things in life that give him joy, like being outdoors, running in the snow, and playing fetch. Tallahassee at times can get a little overexcited and may jump up, so he may be too much for little children. He does know some basic commands though, and with some patience and maybe a few treats in your pocket for extra motivation, we're sure that he will learn quickly. If you are looking for a handsome dog full of love to join your family, then stop by the SPCA and meet Tallahassee today. We're sure he'll make you smile. Hi. Although he may look a little worse for wear, Beluga, a three-year-old domestic short-haired cat, just adores people. The minute he sees you, he'll be at the kennel door meowing for attention. Once you start petting him, you'll have a new best friend. Beluga is currently housed with three other cats and enjoys their company almost as much as he does people. So if you are in the market for another cat, then Beluga is certainly worth consideration. Since he came to us as a stray in late November, we don't know much about him, but I'm sure he has some stories to share. What we can tell you though is that he would love nothing more than to find that special family that will give him all the love he deserves. Stop by the SPCA and meet Beluga. We'll sure that he'll win you over in no time. 